traffic, the brakes just don't have the same ability for cool air to enter the ducts or clean air to enter the ducts, and that's what causes the brake temps to rise. Pat, for both of you, how big a deal do you think the physical fatigue factor is going to come in to the overall outcome of this race? Quick answer. I think it's going to be massive. 120 degrees inside the cockpit, maybe more for a guy like Santino Perucci, who's about 5'5", 120. You are muscling a bowl around here. Yeah, it's just no air smoke like when I used to drive the car. Now with this aero screen, it just gets so hot. And especially in this super humid Florida weather, it just makes it miserable in there. So you see there that Ferrucci on the Firestone Biggest Movers is the biggest mover. So running lap 19 of this 100, the shorter 100 lap race. The pace of Alexander Rossi and Colin Berner, James Hitchcliffe is super impressive. Championship watch, Dixon is doing, Scott Dixon is doing everything he needs to do to keep Joseph Newgarden in sight and just protect that points buffer that he has in his quest for a sixth IndyCar title. Something that hasn't been achieved in some 45 years since AJ Foyt did it en route to his seven championships in total. Super Tex is here this weekend.